Hey guys, welcome to the X Ring. On today's episode, I want to cover uh, basically a shooting position from like prone and also talk about different bags and things that you might need in order to help uh, play this game or if you get into long range shooting. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pan down over here to the rifle and we'll talk about some basic things. First off, is you do want a bipod of some sort. Now, you guys know from some of the reviews that I've done, I use the Atlas, you know, either the BT 10s or the BT 46s. Uh, but let's talk about shooting position. And we're going to talk about shooting prone and so what i do in order to be an effective shooter off my belly or prone is i get behind the rifle and i don't offset my body okay i don't have a shot from behind uh, but basically think about the center line of your butt you want it in line with the bore okay that way if you're off here off to the side that recoil is coming back this way and it's not you don't have all the weight behind the bore of the rifle. Now this is only a 5.56, but you get some of these bigger bore rifles, you wanna make sure your body's in line with it. So I try to get in line with it, and then I've got it up here at the front so you guys can see what I'm gonna do with the bipod. What I wanna do is I wanna push forwards on this bipod. You guys see how it's catching that fabric there? So I'm doing what we call loading the bipod, okay? The only time you don't load a bipod would be like if you're shooting you know, a saw or something like that, and then you're pulling into you. Uh, but we're talking about precision rifle. Now you want to load it and push forwards. So that's the first thing I want to do. So now that I've pushed forwards, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and get the butt stock into my shoulder in that pocket. I need to do something with my left hand. So I usually just open the hand like this and I'll place it under the butt stock. Okay, so you guys can see how my hand's wrapped around. And then what I'm doing is I'm resting it on my shoulder. Now, this is going to be without a rear bag right now, but I just want to talk about position. So my body's in line with the bore of the rifle. I'm loading the bipod. I grip the rifle grip, and I'm going to pull into my shoulder slightly, okay? So I'm loading, but I'm pulling into my shoulder slightly. I can lock in my left hand, and then I can take a shot just like that. It's going to be pretty solid, a pretty good platform for shooting off my belly. But if I want to get really, really tight groups, what I'm going to use is a bag of some sort. So that's going to segue us into talking about bags. There's all different sorts of bags. Um, you know, everything from little small bags like this. Now, this one's from Armageddon Gear. It's a great bag. You guys can see that it's got, you know, texture all around it. And I can use this under the stock this way. Or I can take this strap and put it in my hand and do it vertically like this and I can squeeze it. So you guys see how I'm squeezing it. It'll change or, or raise the elevation or lower the elevation of the, of the uh, bore itself. This is a good bag. I mean, it's, it's lightweight, it's not crazy heavy, um, and I can wrap it around the rifle if I wanted to. If I needed to put it on a rail or something, I can do this with it. So you guys can see that, that if I needed to rest it on something, I could have it like that. That one's pretty small though. Um, it does weigh a little bit more than I like. So here's one by Sandsock Gear that's very similar, but this thing is crazy, crazy light. Now, you know, I, I grew up shooting with one bag. Didn't have all these crazy amounts of bags, and I started showing up at some of these matches, and these guys literally looked like the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man, and they had bags attached to them and every appendage on their body. And I thought it was kind of kooky, but you know, it, it, it helps, it does help. Can't get away from that. I mean, if I needed to get in a uh, position where I needed something like this and I could place it under my arm to give me some support, then there is a purpose for this. But going on a mission or something like that, I'm not going to have 50 bags to choose from and I can take a nap and sleep with it. Um, so, yeah, I, I try to have one bag that I really like that I always have with me, and it would be something like this. It's really lightweight you'll notice that it's rectangular. So I have this position, I can go up a little higher, I can go up higher still. So it's very versatile. It's not that large of a bag. I'll hold it here on my chest so you guys can see, but it's very lightweight. There's almost nothing to this. Uh, but if I go with something like this that weighs like three times the amount, this is one by Tab Gear, very versatile. It's more rectangular, so I've got a place here for my hand. I can go vertical like this. The problem with this is it's so heavy. Now, if I want to take good solid shots, I'll go with something heavy, but really lightweight because some of these matches, they'll say, well, you're allowed one bag and it's got to be attached to the rifle. So what I do is I take something like this. I'll attach it to my stock. 
we'll forget about that one that's on the front for now. But uh, I have a place on my sling swivel stud, and now it's attached to the rifle. So that way I can run with it, do whatever. I've got a position here, it's always where I need it. And this doesn't sway as much as if I'm shooting offhand. I mean, there's no weight to it to influence it like something like this tab gear or something like this one right here, okay? So a lot of considerations in regards to bags. We'll get into shooting positions here in just a second. All right, guys, so continuing on with position, we're gonna pretend they have something where they have a bench or a stool or something like that. And I'm in a position like this where I've got to shoot. Now, I don't want to be on my feet, okay? I want to try to maintain solid points of contact. So I'm going to sit on my, you know, sit on my feet or something like that. And this is a pretty good position. If I use my bipods here and deploy those, now I'm going to be too high or what I consider too high. Okay, so this right here, I'm kind of floating it. And I can make a shot like this, but it's not going to be the most optimal position. So if I know that I'm going to be shooting off of something like that, then I might take something like that rectangular bag that I showed you before, and I will go ahead and pre-stage this. This happens a lot in car windows and things like that. I could pre-stage it like this so that when I run up, boom, I've got a solid position here. It's not going to rock or roll on me as much. And in this position, typically, I don't put an arm here and try to balance. I try to get it where this hand is stabilizing so that I'm not getting a lot of roll. I'll take my left hand and I'll get on it. But you'll also see that I've got this movement that I can do here. So in that position, what I'd want to use is one of those large rear bags, okay? If they're going to allow multiple bags, I'll take something like, let's say this. Now this you could already have on your arm. <laughs> I told you, stay puff marshmallow, man. I can take something like this and put it underneath me and maybe get a leg up like this and see it fills that void. Guys, that's rock solid. I could take a, I could take a shot now. I would feel comfortable in this position taking a shot seven, 800 meters, no problem, as long as I've got all this going on. Now, you never want bone on bone. Anybody that's done any type of precision, you know, precision or, or positional type shooting, never want bone on bone. That's like a ball bearing there. So you want to try to get you know, the tricep or something that's muscle. So it gets me rock solid. And then this right here just fills that void. Otherwise, this is pretty solid, but I would be better having something filling this open pocket here, okay? Now there comes a point where I'm like, man, I'm not gonna carry that many bags or I don't wanna go through that hassle of attaching all this stuff. And, and you know, like I said, you just gotta do what works for you. If this is a position where I don't need a sling, I'm gonna take the sling off because that is gonna influence the rifle because it's swinging around. Especially if I come up here, I'm on position, that thing's swinging around, I have, I'm ready to take the shot and this thing's still influencing the gun. So I take off stuff that I don't need based on basically the shooting position. Sometimes they're blind stages and you don't know. And so that's why we always put these little carabiner clips Attach it to a belt, it's quick, it's easy to take off, and you can go with it. So you don't want to show up, I mean, I'm not saying you have to have this stuff, but if you want to compete at the top level, you're going to want every little advantage that you can get. So that's just a quick tutorial on some of these bags. You know, some of these bags that we've got, um, we've got everything from Bison's here to these, uh, these ones that I mentioned earlier, the Sandsock gear. You can buy these in bulk sets where you get a big one, you get the medium size, and you get a little one. I've got some wee bad uh, bags out here. And then uh, I want to show you this one, guys. So let's say they have you shooting off of a post like this, something that's kind of odd. Well, that one that I showed you worked, and it'll give me some position, but there's this other one. Now, these are a little heavier, but this one's made by Bison Tactical. It's called an Utter, and you can see why, okay? I think you can milk that thing. But the way this works is you can set it on top of a post, and now I have something that's stabilized like that to where I can get in a position that works well for me. And I've got the stability of this rather than trying to stand on top of a post. So there's a lot of different gear out there. This one's pretty darn heavy. Um, you know, you've got these game changer bags. And guys, these things are probably five, six pounds, but you can see the profile of it. So this would wrap over something like this. And so if I needed to shoot this direction, basically I can do this. The problem with some of these is I do see a lot of people, they'll hit them they'll fall off or whatever, but you know, all these different bags make a huge difference. So just do some research on it. Um, but like I said, I'm trying to review everything and just trying to get, give you guys an idea of, of what all you're dealing with with some of these bags. 
But I uh, hope you enjoyed that. I hope you have a great week. We'll talk to you soon. Like, share, and subscribe. Have a good one.